In this video, we'll understand how we can backup our iPhone or an iPad to a computer system. I will also explain how we can use this backup to restore our device sometimes in the future if we need to do so. Hi friends, this is Vibhor Maheshwari from Tech and Gadgets, where we make technology super easy for you guys. So if you are new over here, please consider subscribing. So let's jump to our computer system and see how the backup can be done. So friends, to back up your iPhone to your uh, computer, first you need to connect your iPhone to the Mac or PC. So once you connect it to your Mac, there's going to be probably a pop-up on your iPhone in which it's going to ask, do you want to trust this computer? You just click on trust. And on your uh, Mac, go to Finder. On Finder, you need to find your iPhone over here. Go to your iPhone. Once this is trusted, you'll find everything over here. All these settings are going to be right on this screen. You'll find your iOS version and your backup options. So you have an option to uh, backup the most important data on the iCloud. Now you need to understand that iCloud is free for 5GB. Everything over and above that is going to take money. So what I'm going to do is select the second option, backup all the data of the iPhone to this Mac. We have an iWatch or an Apple Watch, which backs up the, uh, the entire data to your iPhone for your health related data. You need to have this encrypted if you want to back up your Apple Watch or your health data as well. So you click on encrypt local backup and give a unique password which you should remember. So set password and apply. Now as soon as you do this, you'll find this uh, circling icon over here. The circling refresh icon, this means your data is right now being backed up to your local Mac hard drive. So do not unplug your iPhone from your Mac. Once you get a message over here that your backup has been completed, you can just remove your iPhone. So as you can see guys, the backup has been done. It says the backup was done today. So if I want to restore this backup, backup sometimes in the future, I could just click on restore backup and it, it, it is going to ask me for the password because I actually encrypted this backup at the time of creating creating this backup. So I can click on the password, click on restore and it is going to restore my iPhone to the current state as of today of 2.25 p.m. That is all for this video guys. I hope you like it. Don't forget to click subscribe. I'll see you again in my next video. See ya.